Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. I'm Adam and this is Beast Quest Beast of You Specials Part 7. Um, yeah, normally it takes me more than a week to get through three specials at a time, but for some reason it didn't even take me a week, it took me like one day. Um, <laughs> yeah, I started reading, I was halfway through Kyrax when I uploaded Part 6 and I was done with um, Verac the very next day. Um, yeah, I, I was, I was free. I was free for a very long time. I didn't upload any videos between then and now, apart from that Ben 10 Alien thing, because, um, apart from this video, I really didn't, I really don't have much to do. Uh, so if I think of something, I'll do it. But <laughs> as of now, nothing. That's a bit depressing. I am lonely. I need some. I need help. Um, but um, yeah, this is Beast Quest Beast of You Specials Part Seven. Um, I have not started with the books after these three, but um, after this special, there's just one more special review, and then Battle of the Beast specials can begin. Uh, so let's go right into this. The three beasts that we're going to be reviewing today are Kyrax, the Metal Warrior. God damn it! The light's bad on this end now. That is saying something. Kyrax Metal Warrior, Magraw, Ogre of the Swamps, and uh, Verak the Storm King. Now, I will highly suggest, if you haven't read any of these books, do not watch this video. Um, I should have said this in pretty much every single other review I've done, but um, I've only, I'm only saying it now because it just occurs to me. <laughs> um, and uh, something important happens in one of these books, which, well, technically two, one thing hap an, an important thing happens in two of these books, and um, I may and I will be spoiling it. Oops, <laughs> and uh, but it'll be when I get to this book. You can stick around for the specials of one of these books, but but if you haven't read the others, I highly suggest you don't. Just read the books and come back to me. Hi. Okay. <laughs> God, I am lonely. Okay, so we're going to start things off with Kyrax the Metal Warrior. Design is a 7 out of 10. Now, um, with pretty much every other beast like this, it's humanoid. Um, too humanoid for my liking. I like the little metallic uh, look it gives, along with its wings and the fact it looks like it can control electricity with its hands. Um, abilities, it has the power to use the golden armour. Uh, that is something already. It has the power to use the golden armour. Um, to its full advantage as part of its blood is made from Tom, which is Master of the Beast, so technically a descendant. Um, and another ability, it can absorb pretty much any metal, which is a uh, pretty overpowering that you think about it. And I know I said this before, when I reviewed Ferroc, or Ferroc, I said this beast most likely might win the tournament. Um, <laughs> Kyrax straight up said, no, <laughs> no you're not. <laughs> If Kyrax goes against Ferroc, I think it's pretty obvious which one will win. But I'll try and make it as intense as I can. Also, another ability, it can fly. Um, okay, and it could shape its hands or... It could shape its hands into a weapon that... Like a sword or a dagger. I believe like a T-1000. I, I, know I, got the, I know I got the name wrong now. From Terminator. I haven't seen the movie and I, have, and I don't know the name of the Terminator. But I know it's the, meta it's the metallic one. The one that's hard to kill, but all Terminators are hard to kill, is on a Watch Mojo list. Anyway, the fight is a 7 out of 10. Um, now, for some people, the fight will, will be great, because it's literally using the, beast, the beast's own weapon against it. Using metal made from Kyrax to beat Kyrax. Um, <clears throat> that, is, that is something which um, is unique and obviously has not been done before. But, um, in my opinion, it just didn't really have that pizzazz like most of the other books has. It just, it was missing something. I said this about, uh, Ferrox Battle, I think, actually. I probably said it about another beast more recently, but Ferrox is the one I remember. It just didn't feel special. It was missing something. The total for Kyrax is 22 out of 30. It's an okay beast, the abilities are good, but the design is kind of basic and the fight 
didn't really feel special. And to add on, not really a positive review about this uh, beast. And this is the seventh beast from Henkrow that was made in Henkrow. Um, now, I don't want to stereotype here because Serpio is good, so is um, Brutus. But I think it's the beasts from Henkrow that are bad. Like, if there's a beast from Henkrow, it's going to be bad. Um, now, when I first saw Kyrax on the cover, I gave a uh, seven foot design because it looked basic. But um, I will admit, from first glance, this is judging the book by its cover, it didn't look great. And in my opinion, I was right. Its abilities are good. Design and fight, not good. Moving on to the second beast, that is Magraw, Ogre of the Swamps. Design is an 8 out of 10. Like with Kyrax, it is humanoid, but it more than makes up for that by actually looking like Shrek with an extra pair of arms. Um, so, kind of like forearms from Ben 10. Um, and from what I from what I saw in my scripts on the Lynxy series, um, like Apex. Yay! <laughs> I haven't seen the episode yet, but um, from what I saw in the script and from how many times Lucas has been telling me this, Apex has four arms. Okay. So the designer says, it looks intimidating for a humanoid beast and has an extra pair of arms. What, what more can you ask for? Abilities are a six. Now, um, when if you read this book and you know then you know why I put abilities as six. Because it's, it's abilities, or sorry, ability is super strength. Um, that's it. <laughs> it doesn't have an impenetrable hide. It can't deflect projectiles. It's just strength. That's all it can do. It's not fast, just pretty strong that's all this is <laughs> the fight however is a 9 out of 10 now the fight on magraw though um even though the abilities weren't anything special the fight was great it was this guy called sir leonard master of the beasts with two companions being captain harkman and taladon uh <laughs> it was great it was something that's unique to it it's not Tom for once. And then um to have the part have a part of a fight where Taladon proves himself as a more worthy person to be the master of the beasts. I think that is a great moment and um it's probably the reason why it boosts up so high for me. Not to mention um it's it's basically Taladon's origin story to how he became the master of the beasts, which I liked a lot and um we had that kind of origin story in Tecton, but, well, Doom Skull, but technically Tecton for Tom. And I thought it was great to see it for Taladon, because we know him not as well, but quite a lot, quite a lot more than other Masters of the Beasts. And I think that's a unique um, thing they added on to this, and I really like it. Uh, okay, um, moving on to the total for Magoral. 23 out of 30. It's a great bit. It's a great beast. Even in story form, it's a great book. But it only has one ability, which is kind of boring, and dragged it down from what could have been the highest score, or one of the highest scores, to just under average. Um, and I'm really upset to actually say that, because Magraw, I actually really like. Um, moving on now to Vorak the Storm King. Now, I mentioned this per this villain in Series 22 and Series 24, Beast of You. And that is Rhea. This is Rhea's debut book. Design for Vorak is 8 out of 10. It's basically a giant lobster like Styro, but better. Uh, I like the shade of purple it has as well. And it looks pretty damn intimidating. Abilities, sharp claws, sharp teeth, impenetrable hide... And um, can take wherever it he goes, he brings a storm with him. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, and also can create the sound which can not really stun his opponents, but 
cause them to stop moving because it's such an annoying buzzing sound which will cause them to put their hands on their ears which can help out a lot in Battle of the Beasts. Uh, the fight is an 8 out of 10. Um, this is probably the most, it's not the most generic, but um, the average score for every fight is an 8 out of 10, or well, most of them anyway. Um, this one was essentially Tom, no, was it? Yeah, it was Tom versus Ro Rorak and Alina and Amelia, we haven't seen her since Series 18, Beast of You, versus Rhea. Um, so yeah, Rhea got away, took over Sanpeo's crew because Sanpeo may or may not have been eaten by this beast. Um, this is what I mean by you need to read these books before I say, <laughs> I did warn you at the beginning of this episode, this video, so can't blame me anymore. Um, but other than that, Verac is an alright beast. It's relatively okay, I guess. Um, I can't remember how Tom beaten Verac. But, uh, I know he had the help of Amelia and Alina. And the reason why I gave Verac an 8 out of 10 for fight in, instead of 9, because it was a good fight, I can't remember how it was beaten, so, <laughs> since I can't remember, I can't remember if it ended great. All I know is Rhea got away, and we next time see her in the, on the island of Makai. We, this is also the book where we learn where Sampo's crew is from. Uh, which is also interesting. Total for Verac is 25 out of 30. It's a great beast. Abilities are great. And the fight was also was memorable to an extent. <laughs> and the design is the most intimidating out of all of these beasts. Um, yep. Now go going on to the grand totals. D total for designs. 23 out of 30. It's a great batch of, de of designs. It obviously gets better as it goes on. But Magraw is the most unique out of all of them. Because uh, we actually never saw a beast with four arms. Um, ignore the spider beasts because they're technically legs. I don't remember seeing a beast which has four arms that isn't technically a bug. So uh, Tremor doesn't count in that either. Um, abilities, 23 out of 30. It could have been a lot higher if it was for Magraw. The other abilities are great that was seen. But Magraw's ability pulled it down a lot. Um... Which, I hate to say it, is Magraw's fault, but um, it doesn't change the fact it's still a great, still a great uh, batch of beasts. A great batch of abilities. The fights are 24 out of 30. It's a great batch of fights. Kyrax didn't really feel special, as I said, but the others more than make up for it. The thing is, Mag Magraw's fight had Taladon proven himself worthy to be the Golden Armor's host, and Verak. It ate Sanpeo. It's one of the few beasts that actually claimed a life. Um, which is something which I kind of find unique because you barely see a beast claim a life. Uh, but since you saw Vorak claim a life, I'm happy. The grand total is 70 out of 90. Compared to others, it's a low score with Kyrax having a rather low total score and Magral's low ability score. But with that aside, it's a great batch of specials with only one that isn't really great. Um, bear in mind that is my opinion because Lucas apparently liked this book, this beast. Um, <laughs> I will say the specials in the specials, the stories in each of these books are really good. I like the stories. Um, Kyrax's story, in my opinion, is the worst. Has those three bit biased, <laughs> but um, and the best story is definitely Magraw easily. Now going on to the ranking, um, last place as you could tell is Kyrax, um, yeah this beast is probably like the Rivera of this set, just looks bad and was bad. Um, its abilities are good, which is good, <laughs> but apart from that that's it, it is just nothing special, it's just like I can make weapons out of my hands, which aren't claws, okay. Okay, if you can control electricity though, he used the lightning path to travel from Henkrow to Avantia, Avantia, so maybe? But I'm not going to count that in Battle of the Beast as it's a lightning path, it's not really supposed to kill you, it's supposed to take you to a different realm. So, no lightning on Kyrax's side I guess, uh, which I'm kind of disappointed about, but uh, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. 
Uh, Verac is next as my second favourite. Um, going into the, these books, I thought Verac was going to be my favourite. But then um, it's kind of like the same platter with Styro, Solak, Sepron, Zephyr. Basically any water beast. It's a battle at sea. The only difference is it bought a storm with it. A literal storm with it. Not the horse. But like a thunderstorm. Thunderbolts and lightning are very, very frightening, which is really good. And also, it killed Sampeo. What can I? What else can I say? It killed Sampeo. Uh, we finally find out which beast killed Sampeo. Ow! Uh, moving on to my favorite out of these three is Magro Ogre the Swamps. Now, read when I read both all these books, it was no competition that Magro was going to be the best because. Um, not only that it's set in a different timeline compared to the others, where it's technically the first beast that we read was that was defeated, if you ignore ones that were put into eternal slumber. Like, um... Like... <laughs> like, technically, Crocol. It is technically the first beast that we saw in the Beast Quest timeline with the books to be defeated. Ignore the Chronicles of Avantia though, because um, I haven't read them. Those do have a. Those most likely will have a beast that'll be defeated back then, but <laughs> that's just going into a whole new story. Um, but yeah, Magro is my favourite out of these three. A great book, but if I'm ranking it beast wise, Verac could be the best. But I'm ranking it with story added in as well. So Magro, best for story. Um, one of the best stories for any special, really, and that is saying something, because there are quite a few good stories with these specials. Uh, Tempera, Mortax, Raksha, Raksha, uh, I nearly said his name wrong, um, to an extent Victor, those all had great stories. Um, but Magro, best story out of the, the, these three, not the best, but really close, um, to being the best. Um, but yeah, that's actually all for this video. Uh, I actually managed to make a video the proper length of a Beast of You video, unlike the last one, which I was kind of in a rush for. Sorry. Um, so anyway, that's all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press that notification button down in the corner below. Um, there may be more videos coming up, I don't know. Okay, I'll see you next time.